hey I'm resale Rafa and this is my channel I'm doing a challenge right now that I started just on my own no one else is doing this challenge that I know of it's called follow my flipping dollar I am a part-time reseller thrifter garage sale um, Facebook arbitrage type person um, so what I do is I find things for a really low cost at garage sales thrift stores um, Facebook I find stuff hopefully for a few bucks and I try to flip it for a lot more I started a challenge on July 20th where 2019 where I started with a single dollar invested I bought one item took the money sold from that took the money that I made from that one item reinvested it and more items and you get the picture so this is just documenting my year-long challenge and here are today's um, hustles pickups and hopefully some sales Yay, bubble wrap. We're headed to local QT to sell Black & Decker Hedge Trimmer. This is the one that I got for free, not the weekend we just had, but the weekend before for free off that lady's lawn. I'm making a lot of money. That lady left a lot of cash uh, laying on her lawn. Um, anyway, I'm going to sell it for 15 Hope the people show up. For the Hedge Trimmer lady to show up, I thought I'd show you a few things that I thrifted today. I got off work early and I hit a couple thrift stores. Um, oh, and I hit a, I got an insider tip, a uh, special shout out to Leanna. Thank you for letting me know about your library. Um, got a couple books and a DVD and I show you what that is. The first one, th this is why when you're scanning books and whatnot, uh, and DVDs, I guess, it's like both, it makes it super interesting, but also frustrating because you look at something and think no way in a million years would that be worth any money and then you scan it and then it is and vice versa so the first one is a dvd sewing with nancy 30 minute doll clothes i definitely would not have thought this was worth any money um i scanned it on my amazon app it is worth money it's got a high selling rank i mean sorry like a low rank meaning that it sells frequently and um Oh, I think the lady just messaged me. I see a message on Facebook. She did Hold message on. me. She said she forgot about meeting me. Um, I've been having a really difficult day on um, Facebook Marketplace, like with people communicating. Um, some days are just like that, and that's something that you deal with whenever you're selling on Marketplace. It's just like a frustration that you just have to be able to handle or not. And um, I always assume that someone's not going to show up or that they're going to be late. And so... I try to plan something in the car, like making this video that I can do, um, where I'm not just sitting here being angry about it. So anyway, I'm going to show you what I got. Um, oh, so the doll making oh, oh, this. Let me show you. Um, it has it sells fast and for profit. Um, I'll show you that right here on Amazon. I got one problem though is I'm not approved to sell it on Amazon. So you can see here. Um, the low price for seller fulfilled on Amazon is $9.91. Um, they give you a credit of $3.99 for shipping. Um, total price of $13.90. Amazon is going to take $4.88 in fees. And they're taking an extra dollar because I don't have a professional store. So you can see that here. The fixed cost, fixed closing, extra 99 cents. Anyway, so I put in, uh, this is, you put in this number right here, the $4.00. Um, I don't think it'll cost any more than that to ship that. And then my cost of purchase for this was a dollar, leaving me with 402 profit. Well, that doesn't sound like much money, but the thing is it takes just a second to ship something like that. Um, and so it's just, to me, that's no big deal. That's, that's a purchase because um, it's four bucks. But anyway, I can't sell this on Amazon. And so I clicked over to eBay and saw that it is selling there for about the same amount. Um, eBay doesn't do the selling rank quite the same as Amazon, but I know that if it's selling that fast on Amazon, it should sell on eBay as well. So that's why I got Next that. Next up DVD. is the Snow Child book. I paid a dollar for this one. It's a special edition, large print. This book goes for $19.99 on Amazon. So of course there's going to be fees and shipping and whatnot, but $19.99 you'd be in the profit for that one. Kansas City Royals, um, and this is the library binding version of this book. Um, it's got a pretty high sales rank, like five million, so it may take a while for it to sell, but it's gonna sell for over $21. Baseball book, catcher, I guess. Um, 
Oh, I forgot to see what it's going to sell for. Hold on. Over $23. It does have an 8 million um, ranking, but again, um, the kids' books were 50 cents. So I'm willing to let them sit at potentially getting over $20 back for this book. Or there's fees, but um, for the you know total sales price of over $20. My first sports basketball sells for over $17 got this for 50 cents ultimate guide to football uh, got it for 50 cents gonna sell for over 14 Robin Hood gonna sell for over 15 near-death experiences this one's not a great one it's gonna sell for 10 bucks but remember I have to pay fees out of that um, still a profit best book of the day and I used to love this in elementary school the magic school bus this one is a 300,000 ranked book and it's gonna sell for over $24. So in total, um, that was a 50 cent book. I spent $5 and 50 cents. So um, like I said, book selling is new to me, but after I had that sale yesterday of 100 bucks, it definitely is motivating to uh, look for other profitable books. A couple things at Goodwill today, a game for PSP. Um, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about video games, but I did scan it. It looks like I'll bring, bring in profit about six bucks from this one. Um, and it is a super fast selling um, game. All of the games at Goodwill, the ones I go to, the Goodwills I go to, are $4 each, no matter if it's a PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. So, um, so yeah. um, the guy just showed up, I guess the woman's husband, for the edge trimmer and it was a really odd interaction that's the fun thing about meeting for these is sometimes they're weird just their interaction so he was 15 to 20 minutes late I waited you know for 15 bucks it's not a ton of money to wait he shows up he has to go in to get changed he comes back out with a bag of Funyuns and he says here I'm gonna give you these for having to wait <laughs> and I said no 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 that's okay he gave them to me anyway so then I gave him the um, hedge trimmer and I previous I take really good pictures of all my stuff and on my pictures I had sh shown that you have to have that like the hedge trimmer had two prongs which you plug an electrical cord into I had taken a picture of that and so he was concerned because the trimmer didn't have a cord itself like to plug into I guess and I just explained to him you take an extension cord and plug it in and he'd already given me the 15 bucks and he goes well Maybe you should give me a discount because it doesn't have a cord. And I was in my head thinking like, I just waited 15 or 20 minutes that you're late. And this exactly matches the um, pictures that, anyway, and it's gonna work for sure, because I tested it. Anyway, so I said, how about you just take the Funyuns back? And he took the Funyuns back and I got the 15 bucks. That was weird. Okay, um, next up, that I got at Goodwill is the Xbox 360 Dragon Balls Dragon Ball Racing Blast. This is gonna sell for $20 on Amazon. I paid $4 for them. This is the real win of the Amazon, uh, or of the Goodwill <laughs> trip. I'm still laughing about the Funyuns. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the real win uh, of the Goodwill shopping trip. And like I told you, I sold shoes for quite a while. I sold running shoes, but what's interesting about selling running shoes, it's not all runners that you're selling to. Really half the customers are just people whose feet are really in pain. And so you learn a lot about just shoes in general, um, other type of shoes. Check these out. Are those not awesome? <laughs> They're so gross. These... <laughs> These are SAS, I don't know if they say SAS or SAS, it's the brown leather diabetic shoe. These are gonna go for like 30 to 70 on eBay. They weren't marked at Goodwill. When shoes are not marked at Goodwill, that means they're $5.99. So I just couldn't pass them up, even though they're just so, I don't know. But you know what, don't knock them till you try them because they're probably super comfortable. Um, that guy that bought that trimmer is still sending me messages on Facebook. He's very concerned that it doesn't have a cord still. I really probably should have just given the guy back his money, but I think he just had never seen anything like that before. And in my mind, I know it's gonna work for him because I tested them last night before I listed them. And I just sent him a message back that says, do you have an extension cord? Um, 
but I don't know. Uh, to round out my uh, thrifting today, I hit the Howl store, got a Howl haul, uh, paid six bucks for everything. I paid three dollars for this. I nearly freaked out when I saw it because it is an IBM laptop. It's from 1998. So it, I haven't even seen if it powers on yet. Um, it didn't come with a power cord, so I'm certain that it probably doesn't. But regardless, um, new or ones of these that have been refurbished still sell for over three hundred dollars. Um, refurbished ones of these sell for over like 300 bucks on eBay which is just insane to me and the reason why is because people play retro video games on them so um, in a you can sell things on eBay for parts only so basically you're saying it's untested um, for parts and, and somebody might be sitting out there who's really good at fixing these and so they scoop them up refurbish them anyway it's gonna sell for like 30 bucks and I paid three for it next is I saw this kind of janky looking nerf gun um, it was just not a, it looked, just looked like it was in disrepair, um, and it wasn't a working Nerf gun. You know, I love selling Nerf, but it did have this attached to it. I yanked this off. These are like five to ten bucks, and I paid a buck for it, a buck for it. So, not a high profit item, but it's, they, I can't pass up Nerf stuff, basically, if it's working. Next, that looks too heavy to lift, hold on. It's too heavy to lift uh, in the current state. Just this is this Pioneer. It is a media receiver. There's the item number or model number is PDP-R04U. Um, I was still so excited think, about the laptop. I think um, still so excited about the laptop that I forgot to test this thing to see if it even powers on in the store. Um, but I did look it up, and so for parts only, say if it's not working, if I can't figure out if it's working, it'll sell for 30 and if it is working, this is a $100 unit right here that sells, has sold many times in August already, so Pioneer is a good brand, I'm pretty sure, and so that's my how haul. Um, it's really kind of crazy that the thrift store that's literally right across from my house, I regularly get a lot of times um, the best stuff at, so that's it for today as far as um, stuff I got thrifting um, I did get in the mail I almost did I don't know if you consider this retail arbitrage or not but I bought some video games from um, GameStop based on a hot tip that I got from somebody on YouTube and so I'll show you that later this evening say a flip tip that was a flip tip not hot tip flip tips so I don't know if this counts as retail arbitrage, and let me first explain what that is. Retail arbitrage is when you buy an item from a retail store and then you're selling it for more um, online or, or wherever. Um, so I got a flip tip from somebody on YouTube. Again, I wish I could remember who it was. Um, they said that this video game, uh, DuckTales Remastered, that it got discontinued and so prices overnight went from like fifteen dollars to forty or forty five and so what i did is when i i went on to gamestop and i ordered um, a couple of them for 19 90, so like 20 bucks basically and i listed them for 40 each on ebay so and i think i'm going to pay free shipping so not looking to make a huge profit from this but at the end of the day if they sell for that much i literally just set it home ordered them they showed up at my door i didn't have to leave or anything and they're super easy to list so again and these are for the wii u um but this game is being discontinued across the board on all game systems okay as far as what sold today i had a lower sales day but compared to yesterday that just nothing compares to that yet um so what sold i sold the bows so so, so the Bose subwoofer sold for $80 with the buyer paying shipping on top. I paid $15 in eBay fees. Um, that's so large because I paid for an ad for, or for the listing to be promoted. Um, so I get to reinvest $65 from that purchase. I invested 30 in it. So overall like a $35 profit, which is good. And I flipped that in just a few days. Um, the next thing that sold was on Amazon um, for my Amazon book sales. This is from that engineering lot that I've already way past made my money. This sold for uh, $19. I had $1.70 into this book 
fees were six dollars and twenty cents and so that'll leave me twelve dollars and eighty cents to reinvest and then of course the third thing that sold today was a black and decker hedge trimmer that i paid zero dollars for sold for fifteen so fifteen dollars to fully reinvest from that after my purchases that i made thrifting today and the retail arbitrage um, and then come and then balanced out with my sales from today i'm gonna ha I have a thousand dollars and seventy cents cash in hand um, to reinvest in my business.